your beautiful person and welcome back to the Realistically Free YouTube channel. It's your boy Micah and here we talk tips and perspectives so that you can live freely in reality. Happy fucking new year. Um, I'm super excited to kick off the new year with a video for you guys to give you some tips on how to dress more masculine. This came at the request of a subscriber to get more into detail and give more tips on clothing, haircuts, voice tips, all all that good and fun stuff and i'm more than happy to oblige happy new year again thank you so much for the new subscribers that we're getting out there i love you guys you're beautiful you're awesome thank you so much for supporting and helping out the channel let's keep on hitting that subscribe button hitting the like button and helping the channel grow so we can reach more people and create a bigger community of trans men who need this support who need positivity and who need some real advice so without further ado Let's jump right into the video. First tip, um, which is even perfect right now with if you're in a colder climate like I am here on the East Coast in Pennsylvania, and now it's winter, so my first tip, layers. I even did this in the summer, and I'm gonna show you a couple of different looks that I think will not only give you a more masculine look, but also help to hide certain, what could be considered feminine features, right? So first tip is layers. This is just a basic casual outfit that I got going on right now. I got a leather jacket and I'll show you as we come out the layers because it's hot right now as I'm filming this with all these lights. But go ahead and toss that. I just got a simple, you know, simple sweater. You know, it could, this could be a hoodie if you wanted to wear a hoodie. Plus it gives you just like a super cool, like badass look as well as like just kind of like chilling. You know what I mean? So this could be a look that you could go for, but really, it's, I'm not really trying to tell you how to dress. I just want to give you tips on how you can tweak how your style is, already is. So with me specifically, before I had top surgery, I tried to do a lot of layers. So as you can see now underneath this, I got a shirt. Real quick is I would put a tank top, a smaller size. So I normally wear a medium medium to a large, depending on how much weight I've gained or lost um, and how much I've been eating. But what I would normally do is I would put on a tank top, like, you know, one of the wife beaters that you buy at like Walmart, the Hanes brand, that's like a five pack for like eight bucks. I would buy those a size smaller because I didn't like binding that much. And so what I would do is I would buy a size small, even though I wear a medium to a large, because then it helped kind of give me a flatter look up top without being so tight that it felt like you couldn't breathe or that you were sweating and getting, you know, I would break out in acne and stuff like that. So as you saw, I had two layers on. Now that works, especially right now, like I said, because up here in the East Coast, it's winter time, it's cold. It's not gonna look abnormal for you to have a sweater and a coat on. One, as you saw, it kind of gives you a little bit more bulk, makes you look a little bit more wide up top. And kind of, if you look for things that are a little bit tighter up here, which that you'll normally be able to find if you're a size like me or you're kind of like maybe slim or like average build, you know, getting like a slim fit shirt typically is going to be tighter up top and start to come looser towards the bottom. And that's that's nice because it'll give you that tapered effect. Right. So, again, tip number one, layers. If you're able to do layers, sweaters, you know, a nice jacket, not some, you know, don't get over. It doesn't have to be super oversized. Just layer up a little bit. OK, so that's tip number one. Tip number two, wife beaters underneath your shirts. And typically I used to st stay away from V-necks and would just go with more crew necks because again, the lower the V-neck comes and you might be able to see things, people may be able to see things that you don't want them to see, especially if you're not wearing certain things, if you get what I'm saying. So wife beaters, that's tip number two. Tip number three here, my jeans that I'm wearing, I wear slim fit. I do not wear skinny jeans. And I have a pair of skinny jeans that I'm going to put on and show you why I stay away from skinny jeans. But slim fit is nice because I'm an I'm a average build. I'm not a very big guy. I probably only weigh about 160 pounds, 155 pounds, and I'm about 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, so I'm bullshitting. It's 5'5". Five, five. I just hate being short, okay? I'm 5'5". Five, five. Anywho, as a shorter but kind of like I'm an average build, uh, I like to wear slim fit because as you can see, it, you know, they're comfortable, they're not super tight, but they're they're still tailored to my my waist, to my length, without being so tight that it's accentuating my hips or, or maybe accentuating, you know, my, 
my derriere, you know, it's not accentuating certain things. So it's just the right amount of room to breathe. They're comfortable. Still give me a nice fit, which is what, you know, you want to have a nice fit, but you don't want something that's going to accentuate all of those features, right? So I'm going to try on a pair of some skinny jeans that I do have just because I want to show you why you probably want to try to stay away from skinny jeans, especially if you're a smaller guy. I am going to make another video for bigger guys. That's something that you're interested in because my wife has agreed to let me make her my guinea pig and I'm going to dress her masculine. And the, the nice thing is I'll, I'll be able to kind of prove to you guys that it's more about confidence and how you're dressing versus we're getting testosterone or so on and so forth, if that makes sense. So let me try on, let me put on those jeans I'm telling you so I can kind of give you that. All right, so I switched up real quick to put these skinny jeans on. Now, these were a gift. That's the only reason why I have them. I don't wear skinny jeans. One, for me, they're, they're just uncomfortable and I've gained a little bit of weight. And so as you can see, these are kind of, I mean, they don't look too horrible. You can see they kind of, accentuate my hips a little bit accentuate my backside a little bit don't don't do the skinny jeans i mean if that's your style by all just my tips that i think will help you out if you're struggling with passing don't do skinny if you want something that's going to be a little bit tight like i was showing you with the slim fits they're still they're still kind of tapered to the body tapered to the legs without necessarily being super tight and accentuating what could be considered feminine features. All right, so that was tip number three. Let's go through them real quick before I move on to tip number four. Tip number one, layers. Use hoodies, sweaters, nice jacket over top. Second, wife beaters. You can wear them, get a size down than what you normally would wear so that it's a little bit tighter and then put on another shirt over top. The third one, slim fit jeans, which I was showing you the differences. Don't do skinny jeans. Skinny jeans accentuate the butts, accentuate the thighs, accentuate the hips. If you have a more masculine build because you're exercising and you're on testosterone, it's, you can get, a, get away with it. But for dysphoria purposes and for passing purposes for this video, just stay away from skinny jeans. Especially if you're still new in your transition, stay away from skinny jeans. They're going to accentuate your feminine features until testosterone starts kicking in and you're able to, you know... And this is all barring, of course, the fact that you give a fuck what other people think about you or you, you know, if it's for your own sake. But again, this is just my tips and hopefully it'll help you out. So now those are the three tips. We're going to go to tip number four. This next tip, which is tip number four, don't be afraid of colors. I know a lot of times I see in these groups with passing people will say, stay away from bright colors because they look too feminine or they will draw attention or they draw attention to certain places. That's not necessarily true. You can wear bright colors. It depends on the style of the color of the, what it is you're wearing, the style of it. So me back then, I wore a lot of button up shirts, button up shirts like this. Why? Because one, they give you the appearance of looking put together. This is like a more maybe like business casual, especially if I would have long sleeves. I, again, I stick to slim fit. Normally I wouldn't wear a white t-shirt underneath. I would sometimes do it if I wanted to, but you know, it's not like mandatory i would mainly wear the white tee underneath if i didn't feel like wearing a wife beater or i didn't you know had any clean and then i would wear one underneath again because it helped to compress my chest and of course it was always a size down and then my button ups were either be a little bit bigger or just or basically fit me but it's okay to go just a tad bit bigger now if you wear a size medium don't wear a size extra large you're going to be swimming in it and it's just not going to look right if you wear like a like a size small or you know size medium like i do and you you need to hide a little bit of the, your chest a little bit more you could hit maybe like a size large and it won't be too big on you might have a little bit more room which is okay because when you wear that shirt underneath anyway it's going to take up some of that room so it's actually okay to wear bright colors it's okay to wear even like stripes like this, plaid, stripes and plaid, they usually say stay away from that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and tell you to go towards it. The reason why is because stripes make you, give you the appearance of looking larger, right? So if you get something like this, this button up, right? This button up type thing, or what do you call it, plaid, whatever. As you can see, it kind of gives me the appearance of being a larger guy, right? Larger. Now, if you have a large, large chest, then I would say, you know, use your discretion, how what you feel comfortable doing.
but as long as you're wearing something underneath that might be like pushing it down a little bit, you might be okay to get away with it. And if you go a little bit larger in size, if you're relatively flat chested or you don't have a lot going on up there, you could get away with wearing something like this and maybe not drawing any attention. But believe it or not, striped clothes make you look larger, which can also make you look more masculine because it'll make you look more muscular. I don't know if you go back, if you go back and look at the shirt I was wearing before, it was tight around my arms, tight around my chest, loose around the stomach, which gave, gives me the illusion of being more muscular. So it's kind of the same thing with working with stripes and plaids and things like that. It's giving you the illusion of looking larger. As long as you get the proper size, okay? And if, like I said, if you're around my average build and you go for a slim fit, and let's say your neck size is about 16, for, you know, anywhere, you know, which is about average. I, I bought a 16 and your neck, you know, maybe go 17. Just go a little bit higher in that. Just, you know, not too much bigger so that way It'll be tighter, still be tighter on this area, the arms, the arm area, and maybe a little bit more looser in the chest and stomach area. See, I still got a lot of room in the stomach to play, but it's not so loose that I'm drowning in the shirt, okay? And again, having a shirt underneath is gonna help out with that. So this will give you the appearance of looking a little bit more masculine, and this is more of like a casual look. I paired it with some beige chinos, which are also slim fit. So this kind of gives you a more casual bit or business casual, whatever you want to call it. Now, if we go back to what I said in the beginning, which was the first tip of layers, and we went ahead and now we paired it with jean jacket, right? I'm wearing bright colors, which they say you shouldn't. Wearing a bright colors, wearing a jean jacket, but the layers, this also, you can keep it open. Still covers the chest, still covering the chest, still wearing bright colors, still looking masculine. It's not feminine at all, right? And this obviously was blue, but you know, you could, you could probably get away with, you know, a pink or a purple if you want to, but that, that again, use your discretion on that. Those are my four tips for this video, which we'll go through it one more time. Layers, 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 especially in the falls and the winter months, which who doesn't love some nice layers? Shoes wise, obviously use your discretion, but we can get into that in another video. But first one, layers. Second one, wife beater. Something that's a size down if you're not into binding that will help compress that. Even if you do wear a binder, you could still get away with a wife beater. I've done it a couple times. It's just more uncomfortable. I personally just stopped binding at a certain point before I had top surgery and just wore a tighter shirt, regular Hanes branded shirt a size smaller than what I am because I could still breathe in it and it kind of kept things in place. So layers, wife beater underneath what you're wearing, or you can just do a plain white or plain black or plain gray crew neck t-shirt or V neck t-shirt that will still be a size smaller to kind of hold everything in place. The third thing, the sizing, make sure that you're getting sometimes a little bit of a size up. If you're an average build kind of guy, go more like, like my build is average build, Stick with like slim fit jeans if you like tighter jeans. If you like more like relaxed fits, which they have that, like a little bit baggier, you can go with relaxed fit, you could go with regular fit, but just stay away from skinny jeans. They're gonna accentuate features that you don't wanna accentuate, right? So wear stripes. You can wear stripes or wear, even if you could find certain stripes that are maybe like up top here, up in the like, like your neck area, maybe not necessarily in the chest area if you're trying to not accentuate that. But believe it or not, stripes will give you more of a tapered look because it'll make your your back and your shoulders look broader and wider. And I'll show you real quick what I mean by that as well. I'll give you the turnaround. So make you look a little bit more broader up top. And that's really my tips right there i think for this video let me know down in the comments if it was helpful for you if there was something that i can go into more detail about that will help you out even more and specifically about this i'm going to be making more videos like this that will kind of go more into detail on little tips and tricks you can do better luck passing but obviously the main thing is being confident like we talked about in the last video is confidence is key you know i, I don't care if i'm wearing a trash bag or, or a potato bag you know, it's, if you're confident in it, I, can, I mean, look at Kanye. He made some stuff that people would look like homeless 
whatever it was, you know what I mean? And he was able to be confident about it and people love it. So if you're confident, you can pull it off. It doesn't really matter. But I can help out with some tips that will kind of tweak that, tweak how you're dressing and things of that nature. I plan on making another video where, as I said earlier, my wife is gonna be kind of like my guinea pig. And I'm gonna show you how I can dress someone who is not on testosterone, who has no desire to be, I mean, she's a cisgendered woman, my wife. She has no desire to transition or anything like that. Just a cisgender woman, but she's gonna be my guinea pig. And I wanna show you that if you kind of use some of these tricks, um, especially she is a you know, a little bit larger than I am. If she, you use these tricks, and you have confidence in the interim of that, you can you you can pass perfectly fine in the world without having, you know, to do extra things if you if it's not something that you want to do. So that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you out there. I'll be making more videos like this to try to help you guys out as much as I can. If there's any suggestions or any questions I can help you out with, leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please already go ahead and do so because I appreciate it and it helps the channel grow. And we're trying to build a community here that's going to, you know, help more trans people. And I've got so much content that's coming this year. Way more things that I'm working on and other individuals I'm working on to bring you great content that's going to help you out and help you be free in reality. I love you guys. Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.